Hey everyone, it's me, Jaime. Just check. Yeah, it's going. <laughs> Vlog 163. I'm, uh, of course, the shut in cartoonist musician, and I am broadcasting from the Corner to Press World headquarters in my studio, upstairs studio, that is going to get super hot today and tomorrow because we're promised a heat wave. I mean, it's nothing like, you know, inland, like Sacramento, you know, starting Livermore, moving out to my hometown, but it, it, it gets hot here. There's going to be no wind. So I want to hurry up and get this done. It's, it's, it's almost, it's 8.45, and I've been doing this since just after 8 o'clock, and I keep screwing up. Today I want to talk about friendships. Hmm. Cafe Domingo, for those playing at home. Um, I've had my, my closest friends I've known between 50 some years and 35 years. So from the 60s to the mid 1980s, my closest friends, even though I still develop friendships over the years besides that. And um, one of those friendships I developed was my high school art teacher at Sacramento High School, uh, Dave Tafoya, M. Dave Tafoya, David. Tavoya. And I'm still friends with them. We, we talk on the phone often right now because you can't go out with the COVID. But we try to run into each other, you know, once a year at least. And he sent me last summer in the mail uh, a sketchbook he really liked. That um, it's Well, it's a printed book of, of, I think it's the name is Jan, not Jan, but Jan Faust. And it's the underground sketchbook of Jan Faust. And Dave had this in the early 1970s, around 1971, when he was going to college after the army in uh, at Sac State and Dave is a Chicano and he was hanging out with the Royal Chicano Air Force back then you know one of the founders Jose Montoya uh, went to high school with two of Jose's boys uh, Vince and Mal uh, great guys um, really had a lot of fun with them and I was really happy Dave sent me this it was it was so touching but it was definitely along you know my weirdness when I was in high school I was really into just drawing single pictures like that. You know, my comic strips were much simpler, um, but my artwork was very pen and ink, sketchy stuff. And Dave turned me on to a lot of, uh, you know, this is a cool one. I love that bird, you know, with a scissor head. I would do things like that. And I guess Dave paid attention and he saw that. So he gave me this book last, last summer. And, you know, it's got his name in there in the top. David Tafoya, and uh, I was very, very touched that he sent me this. I will cherish that. Um, Dave practically saved my life. Between him and my, my best friend, Arturo Art, who I met in art class, um, I probably wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for the help of those two guys. So friendships, very important. Um, during this time, too, I think it's even that much more important to check in on people uh, I got a couple of friends, one that was never married, another guy's divorced, and they live alone, you know, and I, I call them up. I mean, we talk all the time anyway, even before the COVID, just to, hey, we'd hang out even you know, a lot before this. But, you know, now I just, just think of them and want to just, you know, as one of them says, rattle their cage to see what's going on. So hopefully, you know, this weekend you can, you know, get a hold of some people you haven't maybe talked to in a while and, and just check in on them. Let them know you love them. Let them know you care and you're thinking about them. It's very important. And um, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to end with today. I know it's a well-traveled um, road here about friendship. Uh, you know, as you know, just recently I um, you know, even went to the distance of unfriending, as the term is used now, some people on Facebook. Um, they were never really my friend friends. But we never had any problems until recently. I mean, they were so distant in the sense of from just connected through community, school, Little League, God knows what. And yeah, there's just recently is just reasons I had to kind of let them go for my sanity and not to have their toxicity, you know, penetrate my world. So anyway, um, on that note, <laughs> if you have to go out today, I hope you mask up. I'm debating on going out right now for a bike ride, but uh, yeah, I know it's going to get hot. So, and I know it's going to get really hot in other places. Here, it's going to probably be in the well up in the 90s, um, and it's going to be like 110 or something this weekend inland, if not more. So, strange times. All right, everybody, hang in there, stay cool. If you have to go out, don't forget to mask up, wash and sanitize your hands, uh, keep your distance. You really got to keep your distance. I know. People are saying it's a fake or, you know, they chance it. And 
you know, I know some people, a lot of people now that you see their Facebook and their Instagram, whatever, uh, posting tons of pictures because they're out every weekend, every week they're going somewhere different. And it's almost like they're kind of thinking, well, if I sneak around, you know, it's that whole sneaking around thing. I don't know. Logic it eludes some people. But anyway, it's hopefully this will all get squashed and we can do it with impunity. All right, everybody. Uh, be kind to yourselves and be kind to others. Don't forget to subscribe if you wish. And um, thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time.